guys assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me in today's video in today's video i have a clothing haul for you guys all selected by me from one brand this is a brand that my friends have been raving about on the Gupshop group chat, so I had to go online and check it out myself. Their garments are so quirky and so different, and I picked out items that appealed to me, so everything that I show you today is ideally my taste. My taste is very, very quirky, very different. I like to pick out items which are out of the box, which are a bit more different, which look a bit more unique, and I always like to plan ahead, so I like to pick out outfits where I may possibly be able to wear them to future events. So if you wanna see what I've purchased and what my style is like, keep on watching. So the first item that I have for you guys is the one that I'm wearing, which is a baby pink jumper, which reads blessed. Let me just move my hair out of the way for you guys so you can read it properly. It says blessed, which we are. It's got a modest fit sleeve and it goes way past my bum length. Which I'm gonna have to jump up and show you. Ready? One, two, three, jump! You see that? I'm gonna do that again. I enjoyed that. One, two, three, jump! Anyway, it goes past my bum length, which brings out the confidence in me, and it's great for casual wear and just to go out and about in town. The next piece that I'm gonna show you is probably one of my favorite pieces because it's my favorite color, and it's my favorite look right now, which is a two-in-one blouse. Check out this piece, how stunning is it? It's a two-in-one with a high neck. High neck two-in-ones are very, very hard to source. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I'm adding that to the cart. And I know it might look busy to some people, but this is just that extra touch of detail, a lot of touch of detail, and I love pearls. Any jumper, blouse with pearls on it, I'm there, I, I, I'm there. You could easily team this two-in-one blouse up with a skirt, which is really trending right now in the winter season. Put some boots on, black skirt, black boots, oh my God, boom. Again, what made it scream out to me is the attention to detail on the sleeves as well. It's got the two-in-one piece on the end of the sleeves, which just gives that extra touch of ruffling. And look how modest and long it is in length. It goes right past my navel, which is here, and then it just runs further down. So it's perfect for me. And ruffled sleeves, ruffled necks, always give that little bit of a vintage touch, which I am really digging right now. The next item is something that I would call a inner top. I would use it more so for the case of layering. I'm gonna explain the concept of layering for those of you that don't know. I'm sure so many of you guys know. So many of you guys have great fashion sense, but this is just my way of showcasing to so many more people out there that are just benign to the idea of layering. This is the item in question. Again, you guys would deem it as your average polo neck, but how many ruffled polo necks can you actually find out there on the high street right now? You can't. The top is very, very simple. Again, the sleeves have that slight bit of attention to detail on the ruffling on the wrists. And I would easily wear this under a blouse, which is either sheer or maybe has short sleeves so that you can push out the contrast with the gray, but obviously the color of the blouse would have to be in contrast with the gray. I'm just saying, but I think they had a black in stock as well. The next item that I have, loyal followers, please get excited to see this one again. You guys have seen this all over Snapchat and on the gram. This was the jumper from the Modest Me collection. And look how short it is. I'm just gonna show you quickly. It may actually stop just below my navel. So my navel is here and then that's the rest of the jumper over here. But once again, what caught my attention was the high neck and the detail on the sleeves. If you guys know me by now, you guys know that I just love that extra bit of detail either on the sleeves or anywhere on the top. There needs to be a bit of detail that really pushes out the rest of the top or completes the top. Can we please just look at the detail of the stonework on the sleeves? This was so popular on Instagram. Everyone loved it. My Instagram blew up and it's such a cozy feel wearing this one. And obviously the color is just so in sync with the weather right now, the autumn season, the winter season that we're in. If you guys wanna see what this one looks like on me, then you guys can jump onto my Instagram and check out my images. And I didn't feel any itching underneath as well because if you have sensitive skin, some knitwear can make you feel very itchy, but this was a pleasure to wear. Okay, next item, get excited. This is a long sleeve cape coat with a pull ring zip something super, super different to what I would normally wear. And it's got a high neck, which I am really, really fond of right now. The pull ring zip is just that extra piece of detail which pushes out the rest of the dress and look where it opens from, from here. I know you guys might think, oh, okay, it's just another version of an open abaya. Girl, no, stop. You know, when I saw this, you know the vision that I had in my eyes? Imagine this with not PVC trousers, ew, uh, faux leather trousers or leather trousers. Imagine my black signature hijab style. You know the boots? The boots, I would really go out of my comfort zone to pull this off. You could, you could easily turn this into formal wear and use, I don't know, jeans underneath. I would totally go out of my comfort zone and wear punk boots 
with this look. I, so I would so do that just to complete the look that I have envisioned in my head. You could easily wear any kind of formal trousers underneath. Put some pointy shoes on, you're good to go. Pointy boots and you're good to go. Ankle pointy boots and you're good to go. Ankle rounded boots and you're good to go. You could literally dress this up underneath as you wanted to, even a skirt underneath. I'm not much of a skirt person, but you could totally pull this off with a skirt underneath. And because it's open from here, so it stops over here and then it's all like open from underneath, it gives you that feel of pepper peplum tops and personally for me people with like no meat I feel like peplum tops do me justice because it gives you that curvaceous feel without being curvy yeah I'm digging this oh my god the next item that I have get excited is a mint green frilled shirt with extra attention to detail on the sleeves check this out Hello, hello, is this not giving you vintage feels? Hello, is this not giving you vintage, if this is not giving you vintage feels, you're at the wrong channel. Look at the ruching, you know where it's taken in? Here, over here, here, you see this ruching over here? That just gives so much flatter to the top half of the body. I'm really into frills right now, like, this is the new me, this, this is the new me, I love it. What I love about this shirt slash blouse is, besides the whole shirt blouse effect and the frills, the sleeves are super exaggerated. This is just something that I'm really, really into. This is, this is my style right now, and I cannot wait to go to an event and rock this. The next item that I'm gonna show you is also a inner, but also for contrast purposes. This is a bodysuit. Most of our hijabi community don't know about bodysuits and this is what it looks like. It's got buttons on the crotch area. Please don't think I'm being haram about this. This is absolutely natural. This is absolutely normal to showcase these kind of items. It's got shoulder pads on the shoulder area. Body tops are an ideal way of creating not only just contrast, but layering as well. So if you were to wear this as the first piece against your body, when you do layering, it's got to be in a three-step program or a two-step program. The first piece of item that you wear has to be the smallest piece of item and obviously a bit more figure hugging to your body. And then the second item that you would layer on top of that item would have to be a little bit more baggier. So in this instance, I would wear this bodysuit. Actually, you know what? Let's put it on this hanger. Then I'm gonna pick out this beautiful lace frill top but notice how it's cropped okay it's cropped but look how stunning it is look at the attention to detail on the sleeves it's all lace again vintage feels vintage feels and if you were to pop the bodysuit underneath the lace et voila you have a perfectly modest outfit with the lace being the wider top although it's cropped over here you've still got that coverage this would obviously be tucked into your trousers ideally i think high waist jeans would look really really nice with this even some formal trousers why wouldn't they look bad with this but ideally i think jeans the next item that I have for you guys is, get ready, yes it's denim, but it's a very different type of denim because I've never ever seen it before. It's a peplum top denim and look at the amount of modesty that this is going to give you. It's going to go right past your bum, it's going to give you that peplum feel at the top and you could either dress this with the buttons closed or you could open it and wear it with your goddamn bodysuit underneath. I know, thank you, you're welcome. After having worn the bodysuit, you could easily team this up again with high-waisted jeans, completely up to you. The world is your oyster, you got this boo-boo. I am a sucker for denim. Nine times out of ten, you guys will see me in denim. It's just a love that I have for, for the denim and I'm really excited to wear this one because it's a peplum. I, I'm so excited to put this on now. Like, shall I, shall I just do it? I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, love. I'm gonna have to stand on my chair to show you guys exactly how much coverage it gives me at the back. Let's do this. I mean, look guys, look at the amount of coverage that it gives on my back. I love it, absolutely love it. Stunning, let's get back into the jumper. Alrighty then, the next item I just had to pick up. Firstly, because of the style and design, but secondly, the color screamed out to me. I was born for this color. Guys, yellows, mustards, pale browns are just my color. I mean, look at this blouse. Hello, long sleeve blouse with lace trims. Hello, obviously, obviously I'm gonna put it in my car. The fabric is so nice. Just look at the detail, guys. The there's lace here, there's lace here, there's, there's lace here, there's lace everywhere. What would we team this with? I would team this with bloody black, blue denim, white denim. Im oh my God, imagine white denim. Imagine a white hijab. Ooh, girl, yes. 
how stunning is this piece you can easily do a daytime look with this an evening look with this plus you hang out with your friends with this go to a cinema in this on a serious though look at the modesty on the waistline area just look how wide it is you know like hello modest girls you wanted some modest inspo you got it go 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 the next item that i'm going to show you is actually a hoodie you guys ready you guys ready look at this look at this this is what i would call a staple piece it's simplicity in the color but look at the lace detail i hope the camera picks this up because if the camera don't pick it up yeah i'm gonna buy a new camera look at this firstly just look at the sleeves hello hello sleeves look at the cord on here look at the detail on the cords jeweled cords See that? Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Girl, alright, it's the lyrical get stuck. I'm joking. I'm joking. Joking. Joking, guys. I guarantee you, nobody will have a hoodie top like this. Yours will be the only unique piece because of these extra attentions to details. Which I'm trying to say. It looks really, really nice, doesn't it? I love it. It's ideal for casual wear, but it's very like, you know what, stuff it. I'm gonna do my thing about town, but I'm gonna go in like a boss woman. Yeah, so anyway, I'm loving it. All right, the next item that I have is just a casual tee, okay? The reason why it shrieked out to me is because it said social on it, and I'm a social media influencer, and if you ain't got one of these in your life, what's the point of being a social media influencer? I was joking, I was joking. It just screamed out to me because it said social, and you know what? I'm a sociable person. Wallahi, I am. Once again, look at the modesty in the sleeves. Look how wide the sleeves are. Now I'm gonna show you the bottom. I mean, look how rounded it is from the bottom. It would actually cover your bum length as well. For me, covering of the bum length is very, very important because I was going through my closet, which was like literally about six months ago, and everything that I was wearing in terms of jumpers, everything was like really, really short and it kept like prodding up as well. And I feel like with these purchases, everything is really long as well. And there was always this fear of wearing like my short stodgy jumpers because when I'm in a mixed environment, like just say if I'm in a household around my family members and they're male, male brothers, and I'm having to bend down and pick something up, it's quite scary at the same time knowing that, oh my God, is my jumper gonna go up and I have to like pull my jumper down first before I bend down? Why should I have to do that when there are items available on the market? It's just because Inaya, you're lazy and you can't be bothered to like go online shopping. This is something that I would totally wear around the house. Casual, sociable, if I'm just popping to a friend's house, popping around the corner, I can totes do that, put my PJs underneath, my joggers underneath, even denim underneath if I need to run to the shop. And obviously if I need to put a coat on underneath, then I don't need to worry about the sleeves. Otherwise I just layer it up and put a body top underneath. I put anything with long sleeves underneath and that's it. But yeah, I, I like my tees and I love wearing them on a lazy day, especially when I'm poorly, tees all the way. Alrighty. The last item that I have for you, wallahi, I think this was not planned yet. Actually, it was planned because it was put in that role, but it wasn't planned. But this is one of my favorite, favorite purchases out of the lot. This is a, it's not your average gilet. I know like gilets are trending right now, but this is not your average gilet. I want to talk you through this gilet. All right, hey, hey. This gilet, firstly, the fur is to die for. Your bohot, it's very snuggy. You know, I, I love snuggly, woggly um, outfits. So this is just one of them. Like, I feel like if I wear one of these, everyone's gonna feel like coming over to me and hugging me. You know what I mean? Check out the bomb ass color. I mean, have you seen a tan gilet look like this, hey, hey. This is why it shrieked out to me. Obviously, gilets are everywhere, like I said. But have you seen a high neck gilet? No, you haven't. Because no one like Modestry, AKA Anayarana, has shown it to you guys. That's why. <laughs> I'm dying right now, sorry. Funny mood. I'm sure you guys have been in your normal high street shops and you've seen gilets with round necks. I know, I know, I've seen them everywhere. Round necks, round necks, round necks. Bring me a gilet with a high neck, please. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> How stunning is this, guys? You can roll the neck down. Ay, 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 look at that. <laughs> you could even open this a little bit. Ay, 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 you could even. No, oh, okay, let's not go there. The neck area itself is very versatile, isn't it? I mean, if you really do want it up by your mouth area, which I really do like in the winter time, especially when you're just walking in the cold, then you've got like this piece over here. Just open it up and just like do your ting in it. Like, 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 get me. Wait till I style this, right? I'm just feeling, I am feeling, I am feeling blacks through here. 
I am feeding black trousers, black boots, black suede boots. Yeah, the ones that I've got on right now. Yes, girl, work it. I, uh, I love it. Um, I don't know what to say. I am so happy with my purchases. That's the end of my clothing haul. I don't know why I have an urge to say this. This was not a paid video. I have made this video out of the kindness of my heart because I have a genuine concern of showcasing modest fashion in the manner that it should be. And this is why this collection online screamed out to me. The company have no idea that I've made this video. These are my purchases and I'm so happy. It gives me great pleasure to be able to showcase what is kind of wearable in the right manner, provided we use the layering technique, provided we buy bits and bobs which have extended arms. We're all living in the 21st century and for us as Muslim hijabis, people think that we have it easy in the UK. It actually can become very, very difficult to find the modest apparel. However, we're not limited. As long as we change our vision from tunnel vision to funnel vision, and the funnel vision is grabbing the concept of layering, like I said before, and I feel like I've used the word layering so many times, but it's grabbing the concepts of how you can use other pieces of clothing to cover up, to wear the item that you want to without feeling uncomfortable. I hope that makes sense. I love you guys. I shall see you all in another video, inshallah. Until next time, be yourself, keep it real. Assalamu alaikum.